arithmetic expressions. An expression evaluates to a value and it can be any combination of variables, literals, and operators. An operator refers to a symbol that's used in an arithmetic calculation. And For example, the ones in this table on the right shows you the arithmetic operators. There's the plus sign for addition, the minus sign can be for subtraction or the unary minus sign to make something negative. There's the asterisk for multiplication, forward slash for division, and the percent sign actually means the remainder of one number divided by the other. This is the modulus operator. Let's try some of these out. So I'm going to create a bunch of variables. Int a is 2, b is 4, c is 6, and d is 8. So let's try out some basic arithmetic in Java. System.out.println a plus b. This gives us 6. And a minus b gives you negative 2. And a times b, it's 2 times 4, will give you 8. And a divided by b, 2 divided by 4, should give you 0 because we're doing integer division. So be careful with that, but if we swap this around and said c divided by a, which is 6 divided by 2, that'll give you 3. And then there's the modulus operator, so c percent b. So that's 6 divided by 4, what's the remainder going to be? And that's going to give you 2. So that's what the modulus operator does. It gives you the remainder of one number divided by the other. Arithmetic precedence rules refer to the order that the compiler evaluates an expression's arithmetic operators. And keep in mind that math is done horizontally in programming. It's not done vertically like in a math class. So you want to use parentheses to group items together and make the expression clearer. And here are the precedence rules for these arithmetic operators. So the parentheses take the higher priority. So whatever is in parentheses gets evaluated first. And that's done from right to left. And then all the unary minus stuff, the negative numbers, then get evaluated. And then the multiplication, division, and modulus happens from left to right. And then finally the addition and subtraction happens at the very end from left to right as well. Take a look at the very first line. The result, we have negative 7 plus 2. Then we're getting the, mod the remainder by dividing that by 3, multiplying that by 5, and then adding 4 to it. And this gives you 14. But if you look at the third row, it's the same exact numbers in the same order, but without the parentheses, and notice that you get a different value. That's because of the precedence rules that those parentheses are making you evaluate this, these two numbers first. It's adding up negative 2 and 7 first before it does anything else. So be very careful when you're doing arithmetic. Follow the precedence rules, and by using parentheses, it makes your program much clearer and easier to understand.